What's up guys? My name is Kevin Griffith and this is the Holler Barbecue. So Cinco de Mayo is almost here. And I was trying to figure out a recipe that I can make that would feed a whole bunch of people. So what I came up with was smoked Mexican lasagna. Stay tuned. What's up guys? Hope everyone's having an awesome weekend. So let's start this off by making our own taco seasoning. First thing, two tablespoons of cornstarch. Next you want to add about two teaspoons of beef bouillon. About two teaspoons of garlic powder. Two teaspoons of ground cumin. Two teaspoons of paprika. two teaspoons of chili powder. One teaspoon of onion powder. About half a teaspoon of just regular sugar. And just go ahead and mix that up real good. Now this is a doubled recipe. This, If you half it it's for one pound of meat. So this is for two pounds. So if you're ever making tacos, you can substitute this for any of those packages in the store. Way healthier on you. Oh, and I almost forgot. We need some salt in this. So just put two teaspoons of whatever your favorite salt is. I'm using Jacobson sea salt here. And then just go ahead and mix that up real good. Alright, for our taco meat, I'm just using 93.7 here. I like to use leaner ones in, you know, tacos, spaghettis, anything like that. Because for me personally, I don't think we need the extra um, calories that would come in a, a higher fat one because you're going to be putting you know, all the seasoning and liquid in there anyway, so extra fat for me doesn't really do anything here. So I just use 93.7 just so we can keep you know, cut down on the calories. Now I'm just going to go ahead and chop up an onion here. This is going to be part of the ingredients that can go in, in our lasagna. And I'm going to be adding some jalapeno. So I'm going to go ahead and slice these up. I'm just going to core them out and then just uh, make, just dice it up.
now I'm going to basically make a, kind of like a ricotta cheese replacement. So you want to take your favorite salsa, and I have about one cup of sour cream here. Add about the equal parts of uh, your favorite salsa to it, and just uh, give it a good mix. This is actually a really good salsa just to put on uh, tacos or uh, you know burritos or anything like that. Now for me, when I'm making tacos, I like my ground beef, you know, pretty chopped up, pretty pretty ground. So we have one of these uh, hamburger smasher things. It's from uh, Pampered Chef. We've been using it for quite a few years, and it works good at breaking up your hamburger meat. Now once you're browned up, now it's time to go ahead and add our seasoning. We're going to do this just like a normal package of, you know, seasoning. Add our seasoning, and then I'm adding... I have about a cup and a half of water here, but I didn't need it all. So only maybe a one and a quarter cups of water. Mix it up and then just let it simmer down. You don't want it too juicy in the end uh, because we don't want to you know, soak our lasagna. But once it's uh, most, mostly boiled out, you're good to go. All right, now it's time to assemble our lasagna. So this is the corn tortillas that I'm using in this. I got these from Costco. The reason I got them, all of those, like 110 of them for only like $3 and something. So super cheap. Go ahead and spray your pan, and I'm just using a cheap foil pan because I don't want to put one of our good pans in the smoker. We're going to speed this up a little bit. So first layer is your tortillas. And then I'm just going to put a layer of uh, refried beans down. Just use uh, whatever your f favorite refried beans. You don't even have to do this if you don't want beans. Now I'll put a layer of beef. Now be sure not to put too much because you need to spread that out throughout the whole time. And some onions. And the jalapeno is only on half of this. And a little bit of that sauce that we made. I'm just using a Mexican cheese blend. And then we'll go back to another layer of tortillas. And then we're going to repeat. So now meat, more onions, then more cheese. Now I didn't add that salsa mixture because it's a little spicy. My little girl doesn't like too spicy stuff, so I'm trying to cut that down. If you want, you can add you know any anywhere you want. Then one more layer, and the rest of our meat on top. A few more jalapenos, and more cheese on top. All right, we got the silverback cranked up to uh, 250 degrees. I'm ready to go ahead and put it on. Now, as far as time goes on this today, I've never uh, cooked this particular meal on this smoker. I've some done something very similar in the oven, but basically everything's almost cooked in there and it just needs to warm up and cheese melt. So the way I'm going to do this it's gonna be an experiment and a test, but we're gonna cook it kind of like a pizza almost. Once the cheese on top gets to where we want it, melted down, maybe starting to get a little bit brown, then we'll call it done. And I'll let you know what time, how much time it is. All right guys, so we've been going for about 45 minutes now. I gave it a peek a minute ago. And I think the cheese is about where I want it. But I actually want it to keep warming a little bit. Let's see if we can get a good look at it. Sorry if it's too bright. So what I want to do is protect it now. So I'm going to go ahead and put a, a little bit of aluminum foil on it. Go ahead and shut that up. We're gonna go for about 20 more minutes and then we'll call it good. So we're looking at 
about a, just a little bit over an hour cook, so about an hour, five, hour, ten minutes, somewhere around there. All right, guys, so it's been 20 minutes now. I've gotten this off, putting it out here, and I've actually let it rest for about, yeah, a little bit over five minutes now. Just let it cool down just a bit. So let's take a look here, see what we got. Now this makes a lot of food, guys. And we had, you know, two pounds of meat in there along with, I don't even know how much cheese we put in. That looks pretty good, huh? So a real easy meal. Just make your meat. That's all you basically gotta do is make your taco meat and then just slap it all together. Um, let it smoke down. Doesn't take that long. So like I, as I said, it's about a, around an hour, hour and five minutes is what we uh, cooked the whole thing for. So it doesn't take that long. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and cut into it and let's take some out and see what we got. I'm gonna go ahead and take this corner piece right here. Now what we hope happens is the tortillas kind of get a little bit soggy. More, you know, the way the way tamales kind of moist. That's kind of the way this should be, except if you got any tortillas sticking up like this one. So let's go ahead and see if we can scoop this out. The one thing, it smells good. gonna put just a little bit more of that salsing uh, sour cream that we that we made all right let's go ahead and taste this bad boy here and see how it the, the tortilla is kind of soft in the middle exactly what I was looking for Man, that's super good, guys. One good thing about this, not only does it feed a whole bunch of people, but you can also customize it any way you want. Anything you like in there, just throw it in, man, just like any other lasagna. You want beans, corn, you know, different salsa. You want cilantro. You want some enchilada sauce poured on top of it. Whatever. That's what makes it so good is you can, you know, basically customize it any way you want and it feeds a whole bunch of people. Well, that's going to be it for our Mexican smoked lasagna, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you got any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And always, holler back.